Start by unpacking all the boxes. You can label the parts using a sticky notes to make assembly easier. You'll find the hardware and assembly manual in box 1. Save some of the styrofoam from the packaging as this will be helpful in a later step. In box 4 you'll find the hydraulic lifter and your new sewing companion, pockets. Unpack the lift and lift rails. You'll want to lubricate the lift parts before installation. Spray some lubricant, WD-40 works great in this situation, on a paper towel and wipe down the lift rails as shown. Attach T2 plate casters to the underside of panel G using B1 fix bolts. Tighten with a Allen wrench. Lock casters and flip panel G over. Attach 12C1 cam bolts into the top side of panel G tip. Use a small amount of WD-40 in the cam bolt anchors to help them thread easier. Wipe any excess from the panel finish. Insert two D1 dowel pins into the bottom of panel O. Attach panel O to panel G. Tighten cam locks by turning 180 degrees clockwise and apply C2 cam covers. Set panel G aside. Insert 12 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel D. Use a mallet to tap the dowels in as far as they'll go. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel X. Attach 2 C1 cam bolts to panel X. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel Z. Attach 2 C1 cam bolts to panel Z. Attach B3 ball catch using 2 S1 screws to the front edge of panel Z. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel Y. Attach B3 ball catch using 2 S1 screws to the front edge of panel Y. Attach the right lift rail to panel Z using 3 S1 screws following the pre-marked holes. Attach the left lift rail to panel Y using 3 S1 screws following the pre-marked holes. Insert C1 cam bolts to panels X and Z into cams on panel D. Note, the assembly is shown upside down and the cam locks on panel D should be positioned on the back of the cabinet. This is important for the next step. Tighten cams and apply C2 cam covers. Insert C1 cam bolts on panel G into panels D, X, and Z. Tighten cam locks and apply C2 cam covers. Make sure the casters are locked and turn the cabinet over onto its wheels. You may need a friend to help you but it is not required. Insert C1 cam bolts on panel G into cams on panel Y. Tighten and apply C2 cam covers. Don't forget about how great ergonomics can enhance your sewing sessions. The Aero Hydraulic Sewing Chair is the most comfortable chair and it allows you to sew for hours without end. It's the number one rated sewing chair in America. Watch this video to get more information. For information about installing your hydraulic lift, we have provided a short video above. You can also access it in the description below. Insert 10 C1 cam bolts into panel A. Insert the cam bolts on panel A into the cams on panels X, D, Y, and Z. Tighten cam locks and apply C2 cam covers. Attach two H2 hinges to each panel 01 and 02 using S1 screws. Flip each panel over. Attach M magnet catch plates to panels 01 and 02 using S2 screws. Screw S4 alignment pins into the pre-drilled hole in the top of each panel 01 and 02. Screw T1 casters into the bottom of each panel 01 and 02. Tighten with our 3 wrench.
Attach 2H2 but hinges to each panel 03 and 04 using S1 screws. Flip each panel over. Attach M magnet catch plates to each panel 03 and 04 using S2 screws. Screw S4 alignment pins into the pre-drilled hole in the top of each panel 03 and 04. Attach panels 01 and 02 to panel D using S1 screws. Tip use some of the styrofoam from the packaging to help support the panels as you attach them to the back. Attach panels 03 and 04 to panel Z using S1 screws. Attach 4H2 hinges to panel A1 using S1 screws. Attach 2M magnets to panel A1 using S1 screws as shown. You'll position the magnets with the metal side facing the edges of panel A1. Attach 2H2 hinges to panel A5 using S1 screws. Attach 2M magnets to panel A5 using S1 screws as shown. You'll position the magnets with the metal side facing the inside of panel A5. Extend gate leg panels 01 and 02. Balance panel A1 on gate legs. Attach the 4H2 but hinges on panel A1 to panel A using S1 screws. Extend support panels 03 and 04. Balance panel A5 on support panels and attach the 2H2 hinges on panel A5 to panel A using S1 screws. Attach 4C1 cam bolts to panel L. Attach a magnet catch plate to panel L using S2 screws. Attach 2H1 knobs to panel L using 2B2 fix bolts. Attach remaining B3 ball catch parts to panel K using S1 screws. Remove the front and back screws on the drawer runners, leaving the middle screw installed on panels L1 and L2. Pivot the drawer runners to access screw holes as shown. Insert C1 cam bolts on panel L into cam locks on panels L1 and L2. Tighten cams and apply C2 cam covers. Slide the drawer bottom panel L4 into the grooves on panels L, L1 and L2. Attach panel L3 to panels L1 and L2 using S3 screws. Pivot drawer runners back and replace the screws for both sides. Fully extend the cabinet rails. Be sure that the silver ball bearing pieces are positioned all the way to the front of the rails. Align the drawer onto the rails and slide drawers into place. You may need to give the drawer a firm push to ensure the soft close mechanism is engaged. Click panel K into place. The tension on the ball catches and be adjusted by using a small flat head screwdriver to tighten or loosen the screw on each end of the ball catch. Screw 3P1 threaded dowel pins into panel A3 using a flat head screwdriver as shown. Attach a magnet to panel A3 as shown using S1 screws. Slide panel A3 into place by inserting the threaded dowel pins into the pre-drilled holes and click magnet into place. Assembly complete!